Good morning. It's Friday. It's Cass or Cassandra. So we started off our zoo trip by seeing how long my son's arms were. I definitely wish I had brought the tripod with me, so sorry for the shakiness. I can't believe it. No! Look at that tongue on that. I wonder if it's hot. It just has its tongue out. Look! Mommy, let's go see that owl. Whoa, that was impressive. That was, it's so beautiful. Wow. It goes in there. I think it's trying to dip somewhere. Hello, friends. Mommy, you know how it's you just hanging out there? I love the way they have that little. I'm getting a car wash because there's just a lot of bugs on my baby. Where I park, there's a lot of um, trees, so there's just constant bugs on my car the other day i saw this line on my car and i thought someone had hit my car but when i went to touch the line it was a whole spider web and earlier this morning when i was going to the gym i saw that there were grasshoppers like two of them crawling on my car on the window when i was driving to the zoo there was one walking across my windshield and then i guess when the door had opened another one got in the car so my son noticed that there was um, a grasshopper crawling on the ceiling of my car. So I need a car wash. This line isn't too long. Um, there's three other cars waiting on the outside to be washed. And then there's maybe a few more in the front that are being in the drying process. And I like this place because it's a hand wash place. So I know that they're doing a really, really good job with like washing and like shining the wheel, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'm in no rush. My son wants to go home, but my baby, my other baby, um, needs to be washed. So I need to get my car washed. No, the car. Oh. I need to get my car washed more than I get it washed. Like ideally, I want to get my car washed twice a month. I have my own vacuum, so I do the vacuuming myself. But I want to get the car washed at least twice a month because when you leave like your car dirty, sometimes like things get stuck to the paint and then it messes up your paint and sometimes some of it won't come off depending on how long you've just let your car sit there being dirty so i need to just do a better job of washing my car but the color of my car it doesn't really show if it's like dirty or not but i can tell so i'm about to go get her wash and then um i'm gonna go home and um i want to film a short and also use it for TikTok because I filmed like this little five minute puff thing that I was wearing, but I have another one that has like a little bang. It's like supposed to be a pineapple. So before I wash my hair, I wanna um, add just a little bit more gel and film that. And then I'll wash my hair, blow dry my hair and um, film myself putting the little bob V part wig on. And then also I wanna film the uh, monthly goals thing so i want to film a couple things tonight and i also have a youtube video that's supposed to post this evening um i did the editing already and i already have it sitting in my drafts in youtube i just have to figure out one more thing that i want to add into the description box and once i figure that out then i'll post it i think i'm gonna post around like 5 or 6 p.m because there's a channel that i watch um trophy douglas and she said that 6 p.m. is like a really good posting time. So I think that's, I'm going to try posting tonight on Thursdays at 6 p.m. and see if it makes a difference or not. But I'm not giving up. Why are they telling me to come? Like, how am I supposed to see? <laughs> they need to stop motioning for me to come. Yeah, they're telling me to come. Mommy, they don't do everything about him. They don't try it. Baby. I don't. I mean, I don't want to hit these people. They keep telling me to come, and that's like I can't see. Don't come. Oh my gosh! If I hit them, it's not gonna be my fault because they telling me to come, and I can't. Okay, sorry. Am I good? Okay, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. They can't even see. Am I good? Yeah, they always do this. Okay. Part they don't do my hair. Yeah, there's. 
still gonna um, hand dry it with a towel after. son having the volume on a thousand so this is the wig that i got from my first wigs this is the box that it came in and let me show you what else is in the box it comes with a hairbrush but i feel like every single wig company sends a hairbrush and then they added like a bag of wig conditioner they said it was like an apology because my order was very very late and this is the wig wig cap but again all wigs come with come with this so it's not really exciting um this is the wig itself i like how the hair it looks like natural hair and um they have this like little attachment here so that once you cut it open that's it you got to keep the wig and then inside it has like this thick strap on both sides that you can hook together i really like this strap and then it has like the normal ones that wigs typically come with comb in the back and then um in the front it has like these type of combs or clips i'm about to straighten the front of my hair and put it on and see how i like it the hair has like, it's like that natural color. So it has some like specks of brown. So I hope it blends, but we'll see. So. Wow, it's hot. I'm already sweating. I mean, I've been sweating, y'all know that, but this wig i don't know i don't think this wig is for me and now i'm sad that i already cut it off wow i'm disappointed i'm about to write my first wigs a strongly worded email because this does not look like the wigs that i had seen online i'll be right back Good morning, it's Friday, and if you've watched my vlogs before, then you already know where I'm at. Let me just give you a few seconds to figure it out. Is this how it even goes? I don't know. I'm in the parking lot of the gym. Even though the sun isn't necessarily out, I'm still gonna put some um, sunscreen on just cause my skin has never looked better. Well, it has actually, but anyway, my skin has been looking better this summer and I don't want to go back to not wearing sunscreen and increasing the discoloration and everything on my face, but um, I'm about to go in and do a back shoulder arms type of day because um, I've noticed definitely like I've said it a couple times, I've noticed like change in my body um in my body recomposition but one thing that i'm struggling with right now is um, my arms they're still kind of like very uh flabby so i want them to be more toned so um i'm adding a set i think i said it before a couple vlogs ago if i didn't i'm adding a second back and shoulder day to the week and then um tomorrow it's gonna be a full body day so usually like on Fridays, I do core, but tomorrow will be a full body day and I'll include like core in there. I'm gonna do back, shoulder, arms today. And then um, I'm gonna finish off with walking on the Stairmaster because I wanna do some cardio at least like three days a week at the end of my weightlifting sessions. I was gonna do it yesterday, but um, after doing legs and glutes yesterday, I didn't have it in me to do no Stairmaster like my legs were already on fire so so I parked like in the middle of nowhere and this guy still pulled up like he's one parking spot away from me and it's just like why do people do that but also I feel weird because I'm like are people just sitting there like why is this girl 
looking at her camera and talking to herself. Or maybe this is in my head and people don't care if someone is on the phone talking to themselves. Um, I've been more hesitant to pull out my phone at the gym and record because I was watching um, a TikTok video and this girl posted um this guy like and his friends they were near her and they were like oh i hope her cam i wish her camera would drop or break or something like that so i don't want to invade people's privacy if i'm in an area where i don't want to invade people's privacy if i'm in an area where i can pull out my phone and record and it's just me showing and not me and like the other people minding their own business I try to do it or if they're like far away from me or if their back is turned and you can't see their face I try to pull out the phone but if there's people like right next to me I don't pull out my phone um this morning my husband was like why are you dressing all nice to go to the gym like because I want to look nice but I mean, I feel like I look basic. Like I have a black long t-shirt. I think it's from Walmart, a sports bra and some workout leggings. <laughs> and I pulled the back of the hair. I added like some um, curly braiding hair into the back to make a bun. But he was all like, why are you looking all nice to go to the gym? Cause I'm like spraying myself down. So it's like, I want to smell nice. Like, and for myself, there's no reason, but he's funny. All right, I'm about to go in. Oh, wait, let me grab these. Okay. I really like um, using these. At first, I thought they looked silly, and I thought they would be too small because they're a medium, but they have a really nice stretch to them. And All right, this is what I have on, the black shirt from Walmart, and then I've worn this before. This is um, the leggings from Lizzo's deal with Fabletics, and then my regular dusty sneakers waist trainer you have to eat your food so you gotta hold it what's it saying? oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so many fries So I'm about to go wash my hair, but before I do, I just remembered that I had this and I know it doesn't look like much, but once you put it on and you play around with it, it will look like something. So the first thing I would do is put your hair up in a bun and gel your hair and do all of that. I'm not doing that right now because I'm about to go wash my hair. Looks like this. It has a drawstring. It has a clip for the back and then for the front part, it has like one of those clips that you would find in a V part wig or a U part wig that that like snaps. What I'm going to do is take Miss Mama's and put her on. So again, this is the back part where the drawstring is at. And when I first put it on, it's going to look crazy. So I put it on and I'm going to secure the comb in the back. And I'm gonna pull the drawstring. Before I secure the front part, I'm just going to take the drawstring and go all around. And you can wear it in this way where, I'll show you guys two different things that you could do with it. So the first thing that you could do is just like grab um, a scrunchie and turn it into like a bun. So you can use it as a bun. And if you like gel your hair and everything, it'll give you like the little ripples and curls in your hair. So then the bun would look really nice like that. The second thing you can do is take this and you're going to stretch it out a bit because you want the bang to sit closer to the edge of your face. Take your clip, clip it down. And right now this is looking like Little Richard. So I'm going to take a scrunchie and going to hold this down like this like so like that no. take a scrunchie oh. and I'm not gonna do it too tight cuz again I'm about to wash my hair so I take a scrunchie and I put it down and I'm gonna take a second scrunchie just to really you know get miss mama's to look like something now your second scrunchie is down and now you're good i don't have any bobby pins but if i had a bobby pin or two what i would do is that i would bobby pin the sides right here and i would add another bobby pin right here so then the curls would like sit more on my face but girl if you 
are about to go out to lunch to brunch wherever you're about to go out to, and you need a quick hairdo and you don't have anything this little seven dollar hair piece can serve you look it don't look bad and i didn't even really slick my hair i just put my hair into a bun and if i had gelled down my hair you wouldn't be able to tell me nothing good morning happy saturday i am about to make breakfast my friend and her son are upstairs sleeping um, my husband and our son stepped out to go practice basketball and i'm just trying to make some pancakes really quickly and then i'm gonna wake her up so that we could go to the gym so i haven't taken this out in a while but um, the pancake is looking very clumpy right now, so I decided to bring it out and it's not a mixing bowl and I have mixing bowls, but I started making the pancake in this bowl for some reason and probably because I didn't feel like grabbing the mixing bowl from the cabinet that it's in. And then I decided I wanted to use this because it was getting clumpy. Uh, um, you okay, mama? And then I have some potatoes in the air fryer um today i am volunteering at my church um my church has new members orientation three times a year so every quarter every four months and um they provide child care for the parents that are in that new member orientation class and i hadn't asked my friend to spend the weekend yet when i volunteered so i volunteered to do the zero through four year olds and then I was like, you know what? I haven't seen my friend as much this summer because she got a new job. So let me invite her and her son over to spend the weekend with us. Um, but then I was like, well, I had already volunteered and I don't want to go back on my word and like cancel the volunteering. And then I are going to go to the gym. And then um, when I get back and then when I get back home, I'm going to take a shower drive over to the church to volunteer and i'm hoping that by 4 4 15 i'll be back home and then we can go to the movies and try to grill outside if it's still you know light outside by the time we get back home and i have a lot of noise i have the air fryer on i have the dishwasher on i only have a few cups in there and like three plates but they've been in there for like maybe two to three days so even though the bottom part is not like full, I was just like, I'm gonna just run it because basically all the drinking glasses are in there. All right. Let's okay, she's coming out right. She looks beautiful so far. So I think the consistency of it might just be just right. Um, I kind of want to griddle, but my kitchen is really small. Guys, look, so this box gotta go up. So I have this little and sign that I got from Burlington and at first I had it on my um, dining room table. I'm gonna go closer so you could see it's gold and then it has um, beads all over. Well it's like wooden and then it has like gold beads all over. So at first I had it on my dining room table and then I eventually moved it to the um, to the living room TV stand. But now that my husband and my son have put their PlayStations, Nintendo consoles, Sega, and all of that on the TV stand, um, there's just not as much space. So then I said, you know what? I think it would look really cute on the coffee bar. So I moved it over here instead of moving it to the basement. But I think it looks cute to get to the gym at 10 but they're not up yet we did go to bed really late but me it's like no matter what time i go to bed if it's the summertime by 7 7 30 my body clock wakes me up or my daughter wakes me up um so i've been up for a while and um i just have to get my gym clothes on Ugh. Today, I am going to push myself to try the assisted pull-ups. Like, you know the ones where you put like your knees on it and you grab on the bars? I'm gonna push myself to try those today. <laughs> because the other day, I um, pushed myself to do this other machine that I've been wanting to do. So I want my upper body strength to, um, you know, get better. So I'm gonna push myself to do it. Do you ever wish that driving was like bumper cars? Because I do. I got somewhere to be. I was supposed to be there at 12.30. It is now 12.43.
and there it was due to you know unforeseen circumstances and I'm driving this car in front of me was driving so slow and I could feel the annoyance growing inside of me and I just wanted to bump their car out of the way and I said Lord please help me because I'm impatient I'm an impatient driver just please help me please take that sin away from me but also if you're in the left lane you need to drive with some urgency you need to drive like you got somewhere to go you need to drive like you're late for work and it's your last straw you've been written up and if you're late one more time you're gonna be fired like you need to drive like you're you need to drive like you got a hard foot you know be safe but also drive like you got somewhere to be Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Amazon.